What if you died yesterday? What would you feel looking back on your life? What legacies did you leave in your place? What dreams did you inspire? Whose life benefited from your existence? Did you fulfill your purpose? Did you reach self-actualization? Did you use what you had from where you were every single day to make the world a better place? Did you suffer or did you end suffering? I invite you to ask yourself these questions and feel where any regret comes up in answering them. Think about all of the dreams that you held as a child that were never manifested. Think of all the time that you put in to making a dollar in front of precious life moments. Think of all the memories that will now never be made. See the children we didn't raise, the families we never knew, the love we couldn't buy, the connection we couldn't afford to create, the fun we never allowed ourselves to have, the gifts we never developed, and all of the pain that we created to replace it all. Think of all the ways that you tried to chase the pain away every single day, yet it never subsided, no matter how hard or what you used to try to cope. Still faint, but daunting. This isn't a way of life. This is a way to a painful death. How does living in these boxes that society has told us to fit into brought you expansion, joy, and happiness? How is living up to someone else's expectations and standards of shoulds and shouldn'ts brought you greater joy, love, peace, and harmony? How does working a nine to five benefit anyone but the person that you are working for? How could you have used this time towards something that would have benefited everyone? When you saw injustice, did you fight against it? Or did you create another solution? Did you have to manifest cancer or some life-threatening illness in order to get your priorities straight? Or were you so desperate to just stop and be nurtured by another that you never got better? Or did you get so confused by all of the contradictions that you spun yourself into a dark and lonely hole where no one could find you? Did you die from not being able to cope with the painful, pointless, meaningless experience for one more day? Our world has been standing still for over a decade and our people are growing depressed and tired, just wandering around with no idea of what they are doing here. And even the ones that were born remembering universal truths sent here to bring forth the messages from source to realign the planet even they are struggling to do so the fear of punishment from those in control and the trauma created in childhood from being so different causes splits in our consciousness They know what their purpose is. That is only part of a person by an adult age. Most of them are hiding from the episodes that keep triggering really uncomfortable feelings and they avoid people because they think that they are being punished by feeling the suffering around them. They have no conscious awareness that they can feel because they can transmute. They feel because they can help. But because we are socialized with the beliefs that our gods are all-knowing, judging, and will punish any sin they make, it becomes really clear why they would think being an empath is a means of punishment. They get dragged down by society just trying to survive. Most of them highly artistic creators, without the knowledge of what they can create. due to a highly restrictive and controlling socialization. So making a living to most is few and far between. And without an ability to support themselves, 
even the most truly powerful, influential people born with the messages to heal the world are having a hard time navigating the logistics. What made Abraham Lincoln, Oprah Winfrey, Helen Keller, Mark Twain, Walt Disney, Susan B. Anthony, Thomas Edison, Steve Jobs, Frederick Douglass, and Dr. Martin Luther King household names? They all had a dream. They believed that they could make this world a better place if they overcame their fears and followed their dreams. They rolled the dice and flew caution to the wind. They stood up for what they believed in and they trusted their instincts and went forth. And the rest is all history. Every one of us is born with a dream. And though it may lay dormant on a subconscious level, they still exist. Those desires you have suppressed and denied in order to survive are begging to be brought to life. I can see and hear and feel the universal vibration of feeling lost, scared, and over it. Not one person or God is going to be able to fix the universal suffering. It has to be a collective desire for wholeness. Stop blaming others for why you are not living up to your own expectations. If you are miserable and you feel like it's because you are putting your life on hold for someone else's happiness, I'm going to ask you to stop it now because you are not benefiting anyone in the process. It's time to wake up and live for today, not 10 years from now when you can afford to be happy because no amount of money is ever going to be enough to do something every single day that makes you miserable. It's our responsibility to stop adding to the universal suffering and follow our dreams today. No, no war can exist when we make peace with the war within all of us. So if you were given the chance to come back after dying, what would you do differently today? Now that you can see that the only selfishness is not thinking that your gifts are good enough to be shared, and how sitting alone in a basement perfecting your craft truly doesn't benefit anyone, because you're a higher self? is already doing what you have told yourself that you are not ready to try. The only way that you can be jealous of somebody else is because you are admiring something that you want to see in yourself, but you have told yourself that you could not. Do you understand that you could not desire something that you are not meant to have? The only reason why your desires do not manifest is because the thoughts that you hold related to having them. You don't believe that you can have your desires, so you hate others when they mirror them to you. You are truly the only one stopping you from having, being, and doing anything that you ever dreamed of. But you have to believe that you can. You might think that you are just one person and that you can't change the world. But let me tell you, if every single person in the world changed today, what they would regret not doing tomorrow, 
then the entire universe would shift in a blink of an eye. And then maybe, just maybe, you would realize how powerful you truly are. So change your mind and create what you desire and stop focusing on what could go wrong and instead get excited about what will go so right because together we rise, apart we fall. The time is now. I'm Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. I love you all.